is almost like a pop culture opera. This wonderful new piece, The Revolution of Steve Jobs. It's very familiar subject matter. It's an iconic character. The way the music is written, the way the story is told is very approachable. It's for a new generation. The piece lasts 95 minutes, no intermission. It's very catchy, it's very melodic, it's very propulsive, and uh, it grabs the audience. When we premiered it in Austin for the first time, it was amazing for me to watch the raw reaction of the audience for the first time to a piece that I've studied for so long. I've been working on this piece for four years, so to see them reacting to it in such a visceral way, in such an immediate way, was very rewarding. And from the moment that uh, the conductor starts the music, from the downbeat to the very final notes, the audience is completely mesmerized. It's a dazzling production. I think it's very special to work with uh, living composers, living librettists. You know, often when you uh, work on a piece of Mozart or Donizetti or Puccini, you cannot interview those people or send them an email and, and go, hey, what the hell were you thinking? But in this case, we're working with uh, this creative duo, this very dynamic duo, uh, Mason Bates and Mark Campbell, who have been involved from the very beginning, from the birth of the concept to the rehearsals and the presentation to opening night. They've had their notes, they've had their thoughts, and we took it into account. And I think that it's gonna be reflected in the final product. I think that birthing a new production is a very challenging effort. And uh, when you do something as large as the revolution of Steve Jobs, with so many creative geniuses in the room, from uh, our, our designers, Jacob Clymer, projection designer, Katie Tucker, our lighting designer is Robert Wurzel and Marcy Barbeau. It is a challenge, but it's, the reward is tremendous because I believe that though all those creative minds collaborating together and coming up with the most powerful storytelling, that's the reason I love doing opera. There are five different companies that are co-producing this together. Uh, it starts in Austin, Texas, goes to Kansas City, comes to Atlanta, then it is shipped to Calgary, and then it comes to uh, Salt Lake City. I think that it's gonna have a, a very significant life after Atlanta.